Today at Wolfpack Weekdays, we're going to be doing the first ever Green Lantern Must Read. Welcome back to Wolfpack Weekdays. Like I said, today we're going to be doing the first ever Green Lantern Must Read. And today we're going to be covering Green Lantern, the first lantern. Now, before I get started, why I want to do this is because I'm obviously a huge Green Lantern fan. I have tons and tons and tons and tons of comics with Green Lantern. I have tons of trades. I have all the things you could imagine in the realm of Green Lantern stories. So I want to talk about specific comics every once in a while that I think you guys should read. And more than anything, trades. And what trades are are books like this, which are the whole set of comics in that storyline worth the buy this one in particular was twenty dollars and i got uh, i'd say about at least 20 comics in it so it was worth it uh considering comics are like four bucks three bucks a pop so today i want to talk about the wrath of the first lantern and what the wrath of the first lantern is about is about the very first green lantern ever and this was way before the Green Lantern Corps, before the Guardians even existed. And what the Guardians are, are the people who created the Green Lanterns to protect the world and are supposed to protect the universe in general. So what the story of the Wrath of the First Lantern basically is, is that when Corona, one of the Guardians, was watching the creation of the universe when he was not supposed to at all, a man came back in time called Volthoom, and he was the first Lantern. And Voltum was actually imprisoned by the Guardians, and in this storyline is when he escapes and starts wreaking havoc on all of the Lanterns of the time. That means Simon Baz, Kyle Rayner, Hal Jordan, Guy Gardner, and Jon Stewart. He's doing all sorts of things to him, but at the time, Kyle Rayner, who is my personal favorite Green Lantern, was the White Lantern. And he goes against him and takes away his power, basically. And this story is amazing. This story is crazy. It's got crazy moments like how Jordan become a Black Lantern. And if you don't know what that means, you should definitely read more Green Lantern. Uh, there's moments of uh, Kyle Rayner getting almost complete control of the spectrum. And how it ends is amazing with Kyle Rayner for a fan of his, I mean. Uh, Atrocitus is running around and he's the man red guy. And even the new Guardians uh, come into play here. And what's great about it is right before this happens... Uh, Black Hand, who is like, not the big bad Black Lantern, but he's like the only Black Lantern. And he actually has Sinestro, the leader of the Yellow Lanterns, and Hal Jordan, the most famous and probably the greatest Green Lantern ever, in his ring, trapped. And they have to find a way to escape, and that leads into the storyline itself. It's an amazing story. Like I said, it's only $20 for the trade. It'll look like this on the side. It says Green Lantern, Wrath of the First Lantern. A great read. Uh, it gives you everything you need to know leading into it. It's not like you'll be out of place by reading this. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I, I think you guys should go, should go check this out. Um, go to your local comic shop. See if they have this on trade. They should be able to order it if you want it. It's only $20, so definitely worth it considering how much you get in this one specifically there's a ton compared to some of the other ones and yeah this is one of my favorite storylines a great read awesome art uh it's obviously it's written by jeff johns which is always a great sign when it comes to green lantern he revitalized the green lantern brand a few years back and i mean i have trade upon trade i don't even know if you can see it but i have trade upon trade of green lantern so I have plenty to talk about with Green Lantern, and this is the first one that I'm recommending to you guys. And if you guys in the Wolfpack actually go and read this, let me know what you guys think. Tell me about what you think about the story, the characters, the art, anything. Use the hashtag WW down in the comments and let me know something. And that's all I have for you today. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions for the show, use the hashtag WVW down in the comments or on Twitter, and your ideas might just get featured on the show. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.